Hello there, it's Wayne Robson here again. Um, this is where we left the advanced composite. As I mentioned, I want to show uh, about retexturing at composite without re-rendering. All right, changing textures of stuff. So it's easier to do this um, as a separate video. Right, so you want ST map, which we have here. And it tells us everything we need to know. All right, so if I go into here, I can then pick a UV channel, which it's deciding it doesn't want to bloody do for whatever spurious reason today. And I just find my UV channel, there's my UV pass, right? And I've got all channels set up there, not channels, usually RGB. I don't really want to do everything at the moment. Um, I haven't really done any blur scale on this. Well, the first thing we need into this is we have our source which is why I've put the wrong thing in the wrong place da -da -da, put that off there it would help if I'd actually done it correctly another way of sorting this out is actually to uh, take the shuffle and it's to be honest probably the uh, the easiest uh, way to do this and have your object coordinate, your object codes are UV pass in like that, right? Now we've got this, we can go ST map, boom, on it, it goes into here, right? Now I need some sort of a texture, so I'm just going to open up in here and try and find on my other window an interesting texture. Right, there's a concrete texture, I have no idea where the hell this came from, right? Right, so now everything in this bloody room has been textured with concrete. Now you're probably going to think, well, what bloody use is that? That's of no use whatsoever. Aha, but it's where it gets fun. Um, we have already our multi mats, right? So let's, we're going to do this wall up here. So I want to shuffle out of that the red channel, okay? This is going to get rather untidy, so pay attention. And we have our main composite there, right? And we have our diffuse filter, and you can go through each of these with the diffuse filter and basically put it over the top, which is what we're going to do, but in a simpler fashion. So I want to merge the result of this, which is this, right? But I'm going to try and yank some of this stuff over here because I've got a feeling it may help with the uh, actual layout of the whole thing. These ones we can put over here as well, just so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to have a merge node. This here, all right, I'll put that there. This is our A channel, all right? Our B channel will be whatever the diffuse filter is. So I'm going to put it into that one over here. Okay. Now the mask is going to be that one. Now this means that that goes to there. Now if we look at that, first of all, it won't do a lot because we've got too much light on that point, but you'll see what I mean. All right. So we've got that there. We're also... <coughs> Got to work this off here. Use filter. Let's go over here. Yes. So we have another merge down here. Whoop, another blur. Bloody keyboard. Right. So again, we want that over the top of our diffuse filter. Right. We well, put over refraction filter actually, but it should be okay. I'm just thinking. See, normally I would do it this way, but I am in two minds, to be honest, of doing that at the moment. I don't think it would be the greatest thing in the world. And it would get too confusing. But basically, wherever you find a diffuse filter, you can then replace it in your composite. Right? I'm desperately trying to make this make some sort of visual sense for you all and failing miserably. So if we go at the bottom... Da -da -dum, and you can see now we have a different texture. So, just for shits and giggles, basically, let's try something else from here. What have I got in here? 
how big is that? I've got to see how big the actual textures are in my other window. Um, oh, we'll try some planets. Look how big. <laughs> so, if I take this up here, da -da 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 -da, and we can see, yeah, let's have a wooden wall, right? For whatever goddamn reason, we want a wooden wall. Boom, wooden planks. We can even grade the shit out of it and darken it down, right? So we get darker planks. There we go. Bedoying. Bedoying. So you've got a wooden wall in the background. Um, I never work with JPEGs, ever. That's a simple way of doing it. Now, let's assume, for whatever reason, we wanted to retexture the whole of the sofa. I've got this. It'll be, the green is going to be way too big on this, right? Tiling text is a, some, a subject for another video. So I'm going to stick this in here, like that. We've got temporary got fab, fabric on our wall. We need a look here, right? See where we're at. So our multi mat. So we go to this one. We need the other multi mat. So we need multi mat one. And a channel on that, right? -dum -dum -dum. Right. So now we have that there. Right. Right. Just putting this all correctly. Now it is under there, but unfortunately our UVs are fairly screwed. Um let me show you with a checker. This is a um, the bad point of using a seam from somewhere else. So if I go over here, you can see the check is all over the place. But yes, it is actually being retextured. In fact, if we go back into here, take our multi mat. I'm not sure what's on the green channel. Oh, it's up here. So there you go. You got one up there. Um, the blue channel is the blue channel, interesting. Yeah, it's basically the shelf, we don't want that. I'm really sorry this one's getting a bit around the houses, but yeah, we've got the little thing up here, so we can change it from the checker. In fact, I'll view it first before I do that, so you can see the changes. So we've got that up there, or we can take it, put the fabric thing up here. Again, work with JPEGs, not cool and groovy. You don't really want a concrete lamp, all one made of planks. So we'll leave it with the checker for now. And it shows you how you can retext it. Now, bear in mind, all your reflection, uh, refraction, specular, everything, all your other surface properties are unchanged. Okay? So that if you change this, the GI will not reflect it, right? So the GI pass in here, right, it would normally have a bleed through from this color change that we did. Okay? But, it hasn't, right? There's nothing on the floor at all. So this is sort of a quick fix in comp. If you are up against the wall and people are screaming at you um, and you haven't got time to re-render an epic long sequence, that's about the size of it. But it does have its place and it's fairly useful. Right, again, apologies for this one being a bit round the houses, this one, because it's, um, it's sometimes hard to find a use that's really obvious in a video. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.